We're in the National Gallery in Washington, D.C., and we're looking at Francois Boucher's Venus Consoling Love. This is a painting that probably dates to 1751, and it's a confection. Look it, at it. It is. <laughs> we see Venus occupying a diagonal line in the center of the canvas. Which and reminds us that it comes out of the, the Baroque, Baroque tradition, yeah. although this is now into the Rococo. Yeah, a lovely nude Venus who's got her left arm coming across her body and trying to steal the arrows from Cupid so he can't... Do mm, mischief, Do right? mischief, That's making right. people fall in love. The arrow, the spark of desire that he wields. Yeah, and well. those sorts of soft greens and blues and pinks that we associate with the Rococo style. There's a, a willingness to sort of suspend belief and to create a kind of fantasy, to create a kind of impossible dreamlike space. Look at this landscape. It's in and out of focus. It dissolves. Yeah. We have this large tree here in the, the center, just slightly to the right background, but then the distant trees as well, and, and there's no real space in between them. There's no No, concern. it's not a real construction of space. No, it's not a, at all. It's a kind of evoking of nature and landscape. Right. It's meant to be a kind of playful, indulgent expression of wealth and of emotion and of love and desire. And of course this was commissioned by Madame de Pompadour? Who was the mistress, mistress of the king. And there's even some suggestion that it was possibly her that posed for Venus, although mm -hmm. I think it's that's... She's just a very idealized yeah, woman. Yeah, I, th I think that's probably true. But it speaks, I think, a lot to, to the interests of the moment. You know, this mm -hmm. is a period before the French Revolution when painting was concerned with, with emotion, was concerned with a kind of indulgence, was, in, was concerned with uh, the pleasures of the body. Mm -hmm.